All right, now let's see what the fun stuff we can do with the map gateway. Let's log back in. And we should see our controllers pop up. Now we're plugged into a unitary, unitary device, the F4 CGM 04060-0. And now we have a CVM connected to it. So as we see here, what we're plugged into is address 4, that CGM. But the map gateway picks up everything on the trunk. So obviously, if we had more devices on this trunk, all the devices would show up here in the map gateway list. So what can we do with the map gateway? Well, we can look at the, the points in the controller. We can see what's going on with it. So how do we do that? We just, just do a simple click on the, the controller you want to see. It's going to go out there and find all that points in the controller. And once it's ready, you're going to get a little play button over here. You hit that play button. And this will say that, hey, this, this screen doesn't have any, any display items on there. That's okay. Uh, inside CCT, at the bottom, there's a little display tab. You have that option of creating display points, which I highly recommend. But that's, a, that's another thing. The map gateway doesn't care if there's no display. It's not just a display device that you go and plug in. The map gateway doesn't care. We can still see all the points in the controller. So we come over here to inputs, and there's my inputs. I got a discharge air temp input right here, right? Outputs, there's my outputs. Now parameters, that's going to be the huge list. Still finding everything. And there's my parameters. So somehow, some way, zone temp wind, wound up in parameters. Sometimes it's on the inputs. I don't know why it's really in the parameters this time, but it's in there. And that's this guy right here. So as we see, this says 74.7. This is 74.5. This will only display... Um, down to the 0.5 level. So if we warm this guy up, we should see a change in both control on that. So this went up to 75, this went up to 74.8. Obviously this rounds up. There we go. And we got Warm cool adjust. Oh, look at that. So we programmed this one to be warm cool adjust. So there's 2.5 up. So we look down here at warm cool adjust. We should see this climb to 2.5. Let's give it a second and see if it comes through. Obviously, there's a little bit of time delays in between the communication. We should see this 2.5 soon. There it is, 2.5. Changed over to heating mode. Boom. So you're seeing live values in this controller. We want to get out of this controller. All we got to do is come up here and we can go over to the next controller. Let's see. Go back to home page. So there's our device list again. So now let's click on it. Let's let it go grab all its points and we should be able to see the points in the VAV as well. So as soon as it's ready, we'll get that little play button, hit the little play button. Boom. Okay. Here's all the devices in. Now this is telling me the way this is set up right here is the display settings are activated on this guy. So you see all the points on that front page, that front screen. You don't have to go and dive for them in inputs and outputs. Whatever you set up to have displayed is displayed all together on that front screen. That makes it nice. So if we go to device list, there's our other stuff. All right. So, what cool, what other cool things can we do? What if we could do a live trend on these? Well, we have this live trend right here, and I'll show you. But this really isn't one of where you want to go 
if you want it to record. This will show you a live trend. So let's look at zone temp and we have a set point, zone set point. Okay, start trend. Boom. So our zone set point is 55 degrees. Our zone temp is 75 right here let's see if we can get a dip down in it or a raise up in it something on the line that kind of shows some movement no movement whatsoever what if we only do zone temp let's see actually i don't even know which one which stat we're actually doing but we are actually live trending these values will go up go down but where you want to actually do the live trend to save it is in tools so in tools you can add a site so you got to give it a name so let's just give it jace one you can call it whatever you got to give it a chunk number doesn't have to be the actual trunk number you just have to give it a trunk number and then you create the site those are the only two values you need in that site so now you come up here and hit trunk one now here's that live trend again what's that going to do for you well let's see let's go back to vav let's do the zone temp this time let's do Effective heating, effective cooling set points. Now let's start that trend. So now our zone temp is blue. Our effective heating set point is green. And our effective cooling set point is black. So now one of these temperatures There we go. So I changed the warm cool adjust on the stat. And as you see, we're getting some live values. Change it to back. Voila. So now what can we do? We can hit done. Oh, we don't want to hit done. We don't hit up here. We're going to hit these little three little bars. We want to add to report list. So now we can hit some notes. Uh oh. Uh, v V A V shows to be working. Okay. Well, it gives us not only the chart, but it gives us the the points right here, the timestamps and the points. Save that trend. And what's that going to allow us to do? That's going to allow us to put this trend in a report. So now I go back to that tools section. I want to create a report. I just want to do VAV, all sections, create a report. That's going to give me a PDF right here. So let's open up this PDF. So side information, VAV. Here's my trend. Here's my notes. VAV shows to be working. Boom. So now you can spit that out to the customer after your jobs, and here's your full report on what's going on with your equipment. Obviously, we could have done a device checkout. All those, all those checkout items would be in this report.